a prolonged story. Emperor Akbar was always worried about the administration of his kingdom. This affected his health and he fell ill. He spent sleepless nights. All the hakims in the kingdom tried the best medicines but they could not cure Akbar of his sleeplessness. One day, a hakim from Iran came to see Akbar. He examined the emperor and said, Your Majesty, the remedy is very simple. You should listen to a story at bedtime every night. You will be able to sleep peacefully. Gradually, you will be completely cured of your sickness. Akbar said, But who will tell me a story every night? Birbal said, Please do not worry, Your Majesty. Every night, one of your courtiers will come and tell you a story. I too will come once. Akbar liked Birbal's idea and gave his approval to the plan. Thereafter, a courtier came to the palace every night and told the emperor a story. But this idea did not work well. The courtier would be fed up with telling us stories, but Akbar did not get any sleep. The emperor would be wide awake and ask, what happened then? What happened then? And he would go on repeating the same question. At last, the courtier would be so tired that he himself would fall asleep. Finally, it was Birbal's turn to tell a story. Birbal began his story. There was a forest. What happened then? asked Akbar. There was a small cottage in the forest. A poor farmer lived there with his family. What happened then? asked Akbar. The farmer grew crops in his field and after the harvest, he stored the grain in his cottage. What happened then? asked Akbar. Birds would enter his cottage, pick the grains and fly away. What happened then? asked Akbar. Birbal was irritated. He thought something must be done about this nagging question, what happened then? Continuing his story, Birbal said, the farmer decided to put an end to the birds menace. What happened then? asked Akbar. The farmer brought a big barrel and filled it with grain. He tied a thick cloth on the barrel and sealed it. What happened then? asked Akbar. The birds came into the cottage but they could not find a single grain. What happened then? asked Akbar. There lived a mouse in that hut. A clever sparrow made friends with the mouse. It asked the mouse to gnaw away the clot on the barrel. What happened then? asked Akbar. Soon the birds started coming one after the other. There were around a thousand birds near the cottage. One of them entered the cottage. It picked a grain from the barrel. Then it flapped its wings and flew away. Flap, flap. What happened then? asked Akbar. The second bird came. It picked a grain and flew away. Flap, flap. What happened then? asked Akbar. The third bird came. It picked a grain and flew away. Flap, flap. What happened then? asked Akbar. The fourth bird came. It picked a grain and flew away. Flap, flap. What happened then? asked Akbar. The fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and the ninth bird came one by one. Each picked a grain and flew away. Flap, flap. Akbar was now completely bored with the story. He asked Birbal how many birds have to still fly away. Birbal replied, Your Majesty, only nine have flown away so far. It will take quite some time for a thousand birds to fly away. A 
upper yawned and said, Birbal, do me a favor. Please stop now and make the remaining birds fly tomorrow. I am feeling very sleepy now. In a few moments, Akbar was fast asleep. Birbal went home. The following day, Akbar said, Birbal, I really enjoyed your story yesterday. I had a good night's sleep. What happened then? Asked Birbal. Flap, flap, replied Akbar. Both burst out laughing. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel for more upcoming videos.